For decades, the Milwaukee Mall on Fond du Lac and North was the place to be for shopping. Open as a Sears store in the early 1900s, it flourished until 1981 when it was closed. Since then, it has been a smattering of retail stores, but never really regained its original luster. Currently, it sits as a rundown, boarded up eyesore on Milwaukee's north side, but a local developer is looking, looking to give it new life. I have been here when it was the very vibrant and active Milwaukee Mall. If you've spent a good amount of time in Milwaukee's Park West neighborhood, the Milwaukee Mall is likely ingrained in your memory of the area, even if you are the city's development commissioner. My mom actually was uh, working here uh, when, when I was born, uh, so this place has been in my life literally uh, for, forever. The dilapidated property was once a gem of the area when it opened as Sears in 1927. But that store closed in 1981, and in the years since, the building has struggled to regain its place as a business hub. When I'm here and people are shopping, I just kind of angle them this way, right? <laughs> just, you know, I'll, I'll face this side and you, you just look this way. Venus Williams is the interim director of the Fond du Lac Farmer's Market across the street from the now boarded up building, an eyesore in the community. To bring life back to that corner would be just wonderfully amazing for all of us, um, not just here at the Fondy Farmers Market, but all of the neighborhood residents. Bringing the building back to life is what local developer Kaylin Haywood plans to do. These are renderings of what could be. Haywood is calling the future Sears Market a regional community and entertainment destination with apartments, office space, an art gallery, event space, and even a brewery. The city hoping the development becomes a rising tide that lifts all boats. We know that it's going to have a catalytic effect on the surrounding community. Um, you know, folks in this neighborhood deserve to have that just as much as anyone else. Well, you may remember that developers first wanted to make the building into a hotel, but there was debate among investors, mainly lawmakers behind public financing, that that may be more of a risky move. The city tells me $3.8 million of public money has already been spent to acquire the building and pay for the architecture plans. A $5 million public loan is available to the developer if certain conditions are met, including a commercial bank loan in the months to come.